Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a set of animatronic wings. These wings are motorized and controlled with a potentiometer so you can adjust the speed. 3D printed parts hold everything together and can be customized to fit your cosplay. We designed this to be a DIY kit that folks can make with electronics from Adafruit. The wings are powered by an Adafruit feather along with the servo feather wing. The two are fitted on a feather wing doubler and secured to a 3D printed backplate. The wings are attached to 3D printed brackets that are secured to Metal Gear servos. These are strong enough to support medium weight wings with ball bearings as counterweight. Elastic straps allow you to wear them like a backpack so you can easily put them on. You can detach the wings and swap them out so if you want a dragon, an angel, or a fairy, you can use this project as a platform for your cosplay. The backplate has everything nicely secured in a compact kit that's small enough for young makers. You can integrate the backplate into your costume or add extra padding for more comfort and wearability. With the doubler feather wing, you can swap out the feather and add a new one with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity. You can control up to eight different servos, so it's great if you want to add more appendages. Adafruit CircuitPython makes these projects great for folks who are just getting started. The code was written by Aaron St. Blaine and uses the ServoKit library. The number of flutters and pauses are randomized to make it appear more organic. We think this is a great example for server-controlled animatronics. The code is open source and available to download on GitHub. We designed the CAD in Fusion 360 and modeled parts so the parametric and adjustable. Our layer by layer tutorial walks through the design and how the parts work together. The 3D printed parts are designed to print without any support material. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. Links are in the description. We hope this inspires you to try Adafruit CircuitPython for your projects. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.